Good morning. Did you say that cat's name was Friendly Owl? Friendly Owl. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Uh, it is Thursday, and usually we have um, a principal or a teacher coming in from one of the schools, but today we have all the charity drive kids. Hi. Hi and freshmen. Hi. I have the freshmen in here. We inaugurate the freshmen to start. You don't get to see anybody else go. You have to start it all on your own by yourself. Yeah. Does that make you nervous? A little yeah. bit. <laughs> Devin, move it a little bit closer. So we all have... Right. No, you can move the microphone. Scoot it towards you. There you all go. Right. Uh, we have freshman prince, Devin. Yep. Hello. Daniel. And freshman princess, Natalie... Dental. Dental. Yes. Okay. Um, it's your first charity drive. Right, is it overwhelming? Uh, Not well, yet. it's yet. only two days well, yeah. in or something like yeah. that. So when did you guys? When was the crowning ceremony? Was that what yesterday. you called it? Yesterday, tapping ceremony. Whatever it was you yesterday. It? Gotcha. Yeah. So it hasn't really started yet. Tonight no. is kind of. The we're start. we're kicking off. You know, things. It's like a snowball rolling down the hill. It's mm-hmm. getting bigger and bigger. Mm-hmm. Um, but it really hits. You know, this weekend it goes for ten days. So. Yep. Starts tomorrow night yeah yeah so what do you want to talk about you have your schedule there are there things you want to mention there are things i want to ask about so you tell me the things you want to mention and then we'll talk about certain things okay so we're going to talk about our dinners and which is always fabulous you don't have to make dinner for a whole 10 days and even if you don't want to go out and get the dinners you can do take and bake and we're doing lasagna and chicken enchiladas and pickups will be on february 18th but the actual dinners, we're having the lasagna dinner in silent auction on the 13th and Southern Barbecue and Which Chicken. Which is next Monday, right? Yes, mm-hmm. yes. And Southern Barbecue and Chicken dinner on the 16th. On Thursday. Which is on Thursday. Thursday. Next yeah. Thursday. Yes. Um, and if you don't hear, obviously, we have four classes in here. So every single day there's some type of dinner or lunch or something like that. So if one class doesn't have a, you know, if you want to get dinner tomorrow night, the freshman mm-hmm. class might not be doing it, but I see that the juniors might be doing it. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you guys don't have anything. You freshmen don't have anything going on tomorrow, right? Mm-hmm. You kind of get a nope, little break? we do not. Yeah. We have concessions tomorrow. Oh, yeah. No, we do have oh, concessions basketball. at yeah. the high school um, for a basketball game. I think that's at what time? Do you know? I don't know. Three, five. four o'clock, five, five o'clock, five, five o'clock, We're five o'clock in p.m. The at the high school. <laughs> Uh, so we've got some food. And then what, what did you say about the 18th? You're doing what? Take and bakes. Oh, take and where bakes. Where we will make lasagna or chicken enchiladas. And then you can order them and come pick them up. And how do I order them? Um, you can Oh, call, I see. Hold yeah. on. Right here. 812-8046. Yes. Or email Pamela Boomer at gmail.com. Or I'm sure you could probably find Pammy on Facebook somewhere and message her and tell her, <laughs> I want to order. Uh... That sounds good. Chicken lasagna. Yeah. Healthy. It's mm-hmm. making me hungry right now. I know. <laughs> yeah. um, and what other fun things do you guys have going on that you want to mention? Uh, we have, yeah. Go yeah. ahead. We have Family Farm Day. Yes. And it's going to be... Which is Saturday. Yes. Saturday in the new gym. Yeah. At the high, high school. school. Yeah. Bring all all your grandchildren, children, whatever. It'll be a great time. Aunts. Or aunts. Bring your aunts. Yeah, bring your aunt. <laughs> bring your whole bring family. Bring your nieces, <laughs> nephews, friends, kids. So tell me, it's from noon to three on Saturday. Tell mm-hmm. me what family farm play day means. Are you going to bring animals into the gym? Yes, we are going to have animals like chickens. <laughs> and we're going to have farm bingo. Yeah. Fun. It's just bingo with are farm items. Are you just bringing chickens in or are you bringing um, other things? Um, I think we're bringing other things, too. Maybe if like you come, it'll be more of a surprise. Yeah. So I see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, bingo, any other activities happening? Uh, there's a sensory bin where you get a search oh, for farm items. Yeah, like beans or something. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Is that it? No. Uh, <laughs> Wait, how much is it to get in? Um, Talk into the microphone. I don't think... Is it three dollars? I think it's three dollars. Three dollars for everyone. Age toddler yep. to grade three. By the way, I am listeners. I am looking uh, at the schedule that was in the shopper this week, and I think it's, it'll be a shopper next week as well. So, um, if you want a full schedule, you can look in the Tillamook County shopper. Does the headlight have it too? Does the headlight have a schedule? Oh, yeah. On online, I saw they had it through next Tuesday. So, like for this week, it was just the stuff that's happening up until the paper for next week. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the full schedule is in the shopper. So we have Family Farm Day, uh, play day on Saturday from noon to 3. It's $3, ages toddler through grade 3. What else do you have that's kind of fun? Um, One of the things we have is we have a kids art camp, which Mm -hmm. is on the 15th. Um, That's at 3.30 at the high school. Am I correct now? Yep, 3.30 to 5. Yeah. Grades 1 through 6. Yep. Um, Cost is $10. 
you have ten dollars um bring bring the kids yeah well, it'll be a great time school activity yeah. to do eases after that hard day of school just come in mm -hmm. yeah art camp yeah um and then you're also having adult i'm gonna call it adult art camp but it's not adult yeah. paint night yeah yes. that's fun and you guys somebody did that last year maybe the seniors or something somebody did that last year and that sounds like fun out at the port of tillamook bay from six to nine that's on next friday mm -hmm. yes uh 35 dollars. do you know what you'll be painting like what design um, all we know is that our own high school art teacher miss moran she will uh -huh. be teaching it and you'll just be painting hmm. fun things. they'll be great they're fun, fun. Yeah. they are fun it's like kind of like paint by numbers but not paint by numbers because you're just that she shows you how to do the background and then you do whatever the stuff is on yeah top. it's fun it'll be I a did, great experience not i didn't do this one i did a different one but yeah it's really fun and then you get to take home your own painting that you did yourself yep and yes. it on your wall <laughs> cool um i'm gonna kick you guys out and have this unless there was something else you wanted to mention um we also like i want to add on the 15th uh uh, Wednesday, we have a cake auction at the Rendezvous at mm -hmm. 12, so at noon. Um, there's going to be great cakes there. They're going to look really delicious, and so come. Is that for Rotary? Um, or is that different? No, it's Rendezvous. Yeah, well, yeah. the Rotary meets at the Rendezvous. Oh, oh it's okay. a Kiwanis. It's a Kiwanis yeah, cake Yeah, Kiwanis, auction. yes. Yeah. yeah, on Wednesday the 15th. Mm -hmm. Yep, and um, Another thing to add is that we have... Oh, what's Chairs for Charity live auction? What's that about? Oh, is that where you make a chair? Yeah, and then they auction it off. Yeah. yeah. A silent auction. Like a artsy fartsy yeah. chair, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's on... The 16th, Thursday. Thursday, the 16th. Yeah. At 7 o'clock at the cafeteria. Yep. Yes. At the Fun. high school. Mm -hmm. uh, what else do uh, we want to talk about? Kids wrestling tournament? Oh, what day is that? That's on, That's on Saturday. Yep, Saturday. I know. See, I know you guys are looking at your phones, but sometimes it's much easier to look at paper. Kids, <laughs> millennials, looking at your phone for schedules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's on Saturday the 18th. And then, of course, always lots of car washes, food. Um, are you guys having any rummage sales or anything like that? I don't think we are. No. No, we are not. You are taking over your time, though. Yes, yes we are. Yeah, yes. That'll yeah. be fun. So does that mean you're serving? Um, we're just having like a big like party on the 14th, <laughs> just like going. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. that's It'll, a fun event. Yeah, come yes. enjoy. You know, Some frozen, frozen yogurt. yogurt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God, this is making me so hungry. I know. <laughs> and then not only okay, so you have all those activities, but then you also are giving or not giving away. You're selling Valentine Oreo pops. Yes. Yeah. Um. More on that, my mom is managing that, and mm -hmm. so if you need to order, not need, but if you want to order Oreo Pops. Because Valentine's Day is next Tuesday. Yep, get your, your Oreo Pops, call 503-545-7790 and place your order, and um, we'll get those to you. They're really good, I know, I've tried a sample. Are they like the cake pops, but they're made yeah. with Oreo Oreos. cookies? With Oreos, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That sounds good. Um, are they, they're pickup, I assume. Like, you have to go, if you order, you have to go pick them up. I think so, but, yeah. I'm sure you could call and yeah. ask. Um, let's see. And then always pop cans, scrap metal. And then mm -hmm. hire, I was saying right before we went on the air, hire a freshman. Yeah. Yeah. I have yes. a lot of weeding that I need to do. And last year, we missed the chance, and I thought, oh, I should do that this year. Hire somebody to come weed my yard. Yep. We'll come mm -hmm. to your house or whatever you need done, Hopefully and we'll do that. Hopefully not this weather. Well, yeah. No. If you're doing outside things. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, thanks. Are we good? Yep. Yeah. We're good. everything? Cool. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to kick you guys out, and while I'm doing that and bringing the sophomores in, I'm going to read a quick ad right. about TBCC. TBCC offers a variety of certificates and degrees that can help lead to family wage jobs and advancement in a variety of fields. Certificates take fewer credit hours to complete, and associate degrees can be completed in two hours in most cases. Sometimes you know the field you want to study, and other times you may need a little help getting started. If you're trying to figure out what you like to do, they are here. the TBCC is there to help. A career education advisor has resources to help you learn about careers and decide what degree or certificate program is right for you. A Career Pathway is a series of connected education and training opportunities with student, service, student support services that enable individuals to secure a job or advance in a field that is high wage and high demand. 
Career Pathways Roadmaps provides students, advisors, and counselors, returning students, and the community with a visual tool that shows options and opportunities to help them make choices as they design their education and career plans. Each roadmap includes common information elements and follows standards so that all roadmaps have a similar look across the state of Oregon. Look for roadmaps at the bottom of each specific degree page on TBCC's website at tillamookbaycc.edu. All right, so I am here now. I put I'm mic'd your I put your microphones down so that you could be loud coming in. Uh, <coughs> so I'm talking with the sophomore prince and princesses, and you are Logan Braxling. And you are McKinley Johnson. Hello. Uh, so second year of Charity Drive. Yeah. 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 Did you were you guys like super involved last year? Yeah, pretty involved. Was it kind of a shock to the system? Like, oh, I have to get schoolwork done and do this at the same time? Yeah, when it first started, I didn't realize it was going to be such a struggle to manage <laughs> both, and I was like, holy crow. <laughs> it's always amazing to me. I feel like, I feel bad for you guys, because I feel like, do they sleep? I mean, I see kids out. I got kids calling me like, can I get your pop cans? At, you know, 930 at night. I'm like, oh, don't you have to go to school tomorrow? Uh, okay, so what do we want to start talking about? You guys have some fun stuff coming up. Yeah, we're going to have the three dinners this year, as well as a breakfast. And at the dinners, there will be a silent auction. And at all of your dinners? Yes, cool. in- including the breakfast. Oh, nice. So let's talk about when the food is, because everybody loves food. The, this Saturday, February 11th, there's going to be the crab and oyster dinner mm. from 4 to 7, 30 p.m. delicious. And that's at the parish hall? Yes. Mm-hmm. It's uh, $20 for adults, seniors are $18, couples are 36 and kids 10 and under are 15 Crab and oysters, that sounds delicious. Uh, okay, and what else do we have? Uh, Friday, February, uh, Feb- Wednesday, February 15th, <laughs> sorry. There's Easy a ham dinner say. at the parish hall from 4 to 7.30. Mm-hmm. Adults are $12, seniors are 10 Okay. And then we got the tri-tip dinner at the Nazarene Church from 4 to 7.30 on Saturday the 18th. $15 a person or $28 a couple. Awesome. And then you said you had a breakfast, right? Yes. Oh, yes. I see that. Biscuits and gravy. Yes, and that will also be at the parish hall from 8, from... 7 to noon. Yes. On Sunday the 19th, which is the last day? Yes. Almost the last day. Is that the last? No, the 20th is what we consider is the last day, right? Yeah. Uh, Did we say? Oh, and the biscuits and gravy breakfast is by donation. So it's a little extra there. Uh, What fun things do we want to talk about? You guys have some interesting things. You have a father-daughter dance coming up. Yes, on the 12th at the Alderbrook Hall from 5 to 7. Mm -hmm. And we encourage all fathers and daughters to go to that. Sure. $10 $10 a person, or it says no more than $25 a family. So that is that like if, so, a, ki- if a dad brings like five kids, yeah. the max you would charge is $25. Yeah. Okay. And on the 13th, we also have a Yo Time takeover. At, is that going to be the same thing as a freshman, a party? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> From 4 to 10. And then on Valentine's Day, you are the ones having the rotary cake op- or the cake auction at the rendezvous for the rotary. Yeah, right? at 12. Mm-hmm. And anyone that wants to go can. I see pictures of those every year. Who makes those? Do you guys make them? Like, do the kids make them? Yeah, we have people donate cakes. Or donate, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. There's and some last year there was some cakes. really pretty ones. And I, when, I, when I went, I wanted to buy them all. But <laughs> <laughs> Well, then you'd be eating cake for a week. And I'm oh, not yeah. sure that would be real healthy. <laughs> What else? So we have cake auction. That's on. Uh, um, you have kids art camp. Oh, no, that's freshmen. Sorry. Go ahead. Keep going. On the kickoff tomorrow, we have flashlight tag after the games. So we encourage any kids that want to go to that. To At the come. high school. Yes. I assume is that in the gym, like just once everybody clears out, or is it in a different gym? Well, if it's hopefully it's going to be good weather so that we can do it outside on the field. Mm, yeah. Keep but, your fingers yeah. crossed, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure how that's going to work out for her. Okay. Um, what else do we want to talk about? I mean, obviously, like I said, everybody does pop cans. Everybody does car washes. Are you guys doing any rummage sales? No. We're doing scrap metal, though. Okay. So if you want to do that or have anything to donate for that, you can call Lacey, one of our other chairmen, at 503-833-2026. Okay. What else? Um, we have 
cow poop bingo. It sounds kind of weird, ah, but <laughs> there's, love a, it. there's 100 tickets, and you each one costs $25, and you have a chance to win $500. Oh, nice. Yeah. And so that's not really an event. It's, it's just like something an ongo- happening. Yeah. yeah, it's one of the ongoing happening. When do you... When does when does somebody win at the very end? At the very end, yeah. Okay. If you're interested in playing cow poop bingo, like she said, it's twenty five dollars a space. There's a hundred spaces available, and you said you went up to five hundred dollars. Yes, that's cool. Eight three three two zero two six. That is five zero three eight three three two zero two six to buy your cow poop bingo spot <laughs> or spots. And other on- ongoing events that we have are take and bake cinnamon rolls, mm. as well as take and bake French bread pizza sales. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you're also doing goodie bag phallograms, yeah. which I always love. I love that, and I don't know if this is by design, but that Charity Drive runs over Valentine's Day mm-hmm. because if you want to support Charity Drive, then get some stuff. You have some options. Somebody's going to be doing dinner. You got pe- every class does something for Valentine's Day. So little gifts and things. So it's always, it's fun. And then, of course, hire a sophomore. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else that we want to talk about? Anything super exciting? We have dodgeball. Oh, that's really fun. Last YMCA. year, that was one of my favorite events. So That's on Sunday the 19th from 1 to 3. It's $10 a participant. I don't know. Dodgeball. We were, it's funny. We were talking about that the other day. Uh, the YMCA was in here and we were talking about it, about having like an adult dodgeball league. And I said, I don't know. I feel like I'm back in junior high and <laughs> I don't know that I want to do that. But Last you year- guys, do you guys play dodgeball in PE? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So see, so you're used to it. As an adult, I'm like, <laughs> Actually, last ball. year there were some adult teams too, and it was pretty intense. It was fun. I, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and the older that they get, the more intense they get. Yeah, no kidding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, hey, the tri tip dinner, who cooks that? Um, Matt Marty is going to be cooking the mm. meat. Delicious. Yeah, so good. Cool. All right, did we cover everything you wanted to mention? I'm looking, trying to look through my list here, which is. Very long ham dinner. We talked about that. Co- oh, cosmic bowling. We didn't talk about cosmic bowling. Cosmic you guys bowling. are doing that on Monday, next Monday. On the thirteenth. Er, yeah, yeah, next Monday. Mm-hmm. From At, six to nine, yeah. and it's three games for seven dollars. That's fun. Cosmic bowling mm-hmm. with the lights and all that, and the fun music. Yeah. Yeah. Is that it? Okay. I think so. You're off the hook. <laughs> we'll bring the juniors in now. Thank you. Again, if you're looking, you're welcome. If you're looking for the full schedule, you can find it in the shopper and also in the headlight. Um, I think the shopper has the full schedule. I'm not sure about the headlight. I didn't look in the paper yesterday, but I saw online they had it for the first couple, I think the first five days. So we have the junior prince and princess here, and you are. I love that the guys all have hats that say (laughs) junior. Was that... Is that a new thing? I don't remember them wearing it last year. No, it's been around for a while. I don't remember them wearing it last year. Either that or I didn't notice. Um, And you are? Justin Schreiber. And you are? Libby McKibben. Hello. So this is your third year. Yes. So you're like fully in it now, right? You get it. You understand. (laughs) You know how to plan your next 10 days and you know it's going to be insane and you're probably not going to sleep. Right? Yep. (laughs) Pretty much. Okay. So what do we want to talk about? You want to do your food first? Kind of run down yeah, sure. what your food. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Friday the tenth. Well, is which is tomorrow. Yeah. Um, the spaghetti <laughs> dinner or Alfredo dinner. It's from seven to four p.m. and it's in the um, THS. Seven cap- to four. You mean four to seven? Yeah, four to seven. <laughs> and now the <laughs> shopper says four to eight. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll just say four to seven ish yeah. or eight ish. Yeah, mm-hmm. just get there at the high school. <laughs> yeah, at the high is school. Is that in the cafeteria? Yeah, it's in the yeah. cafeteria. Okay. Eight dollars a kid and kids, or I'm sorry, eight dollars eight dollars an adult and kids are six dollars ten and under are six dollars. Yep. So you're making me all mess up now. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens. Eh, sorry. <laughs> and then what else do we have for food? Uh, we have a pancake and ham and egg scramble. The ham and egg uh, pancakes breakfast at the Sacred Heart, which is adults seven dollars and ten ten and under is five dollars. That's from seven to noon on this coming Sunday. Yep. yep. And then you have bake sales going on too that day. Yeah. Um, um, at the Nazarene Church at 8.30, and then also at St. Albans Church at 9.45. And everything's by donation. Yep. Wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of food on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
and then we, you guys are having a Hawaiian dinner and silent auction. Yep. That's fun. On the, See? Yep. Valentine's Day. That's what I'm talking That's about. That's my favorite yeah. Valentine's Best Day. Dinner. Hawaiian dinner mm-hmm. and silent auction. Is it like pulled pork and stuff like that? Yeah, it's teriyaki chicken on rice. Ooh, yeah. And then you get like what are those little cookies called? Those macadamia cookies. Oh I mean, yeah, that's what they're mm-hmm. called. The yeah, and you get like a nut. scoop of ice cream for dessert. Yeah, and everything. that's at the Methodist Church from four to eight. Adults are twelve dollars. Kids and under are eight dollars. Mm-hmm. And let's see, there's a lot to look through here. Yes. Mm, juniors, juniors. Any? Oh, and then on Sun. So you got a lot going on on the Sundays. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. then the following Sunday, the nineteenth, you haven't you're having two more bake sales. Correct. Same. So basically, both Sundays you're having bake sales. One at the Nazarene Church starting at eight thirty, and then one at St. Albans at nine forty five. Yeah. Yep. And then we also have the turkey dinner from four to seven, and that is twelve dollars for older adults and ten and under. And that's at the Nazarene Church. Yep. Mm-hmm. You guys have some really interesting activities going on too. Yes. Um. Let's talk about those. Uh, I see Princess and Queen for a day at Avenue Salon. Yeah, we've had that the last couple years, and that's always a really fun when Mm -hmm. you get to see all these little kids come in. They're all excited. So um, Queen for a day runs from 9 to 11, which is... um, Yeah, and you have to make an appointment, right? You have to make an appointment. And how do you make... Do you call Avenues, or do you have to call one of you guys? Um, Yeah, they call the number down there. Amy's number? Yes. Gotcha. 812-1660. 812-1660. That's Amy Braden, who's their mm-hmm. advisor. Um, and then you're also doing, where else? Minute to Win It. Yes. Yeah. That's fun, because yeah. that's a fun show uh-huh. where you have one minute to do some type of crazy challenge. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's a new thing that we're doing this year, so That'll we're just going to kind of see how that goes. We're going to have a bunch of fun prizes there as well. Um, so that is Wednesday the 15th, so that's next Wednesday mm-hmm. at Sacred Heart Gym from 4 to 6. It's grades four to eight, and it's ten dollars a kid. That should be really fun. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. and that's one of those nights where you wind up laughing so hard that you're just hurt. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's- and you also are bringing in. How did you get Tammy Barton to come in? The hypnotist. She's the one that comes to the fair all the yeah. time, right? Yeah, she that's is. cool. That's all right, fun. so we basically What's just called her, and when you call her, it's just her cell phone number, and huh. she's actually not that hard to get a hold of. Nice. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's, so that's the event I'm most excited for, definitely, because yeah, you only get to see her once a year, so yeah. it's going to well, be cool and then to, it's, to see her again. It's, uh, yes, we see her now, and then we see her at the fair. Mm-hmm. And um, that's at the auditorium, not the fair. <coughs> the high school yes, auditorium. Yes, we should say the high school auditorium. Yeah. 7 o'clock next Saturday, so the 18th. Mm-hmm. And then uh, uh, It's $10 a person to get in. This Saturday, we have the 5K mud run or walk. And uh, the registration is at 7.30, and the race begins at 8 o'clock, and it is $20 for entry fee, and it is $5 uh, children 12 and under. So is that, like, when I think of mud run, I think of obstacle course in the mud. Is that kind of what it is? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah. It's out at the port, and it's definitely going to be muddy it's, by yeah. the looks of today and tomorrow. It's for real. A, I look out, what I normally see as a field is now a lake. Yeah. yeah. So, just a little bit yeah. of rain. Mm-hmm. Um, how long of a course is it? Do you know? Uh, it's 5K. Yeah, oh, 5K. okay. I Sorry, I missed that part. 5K. Gotcha. Yeah. So, like, a little over three miles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, what else do we want to mention? I think that pretty well covers it. I mean, again, you okay, so wait, hold on. Let's go down here. You guys are doing all through the whole time box mm-hmm. lunches yep. Yep. for $8 mm-hmm. um, that get delivered on the 17th. Yep. Mm-hmm. There are pig and blanket take and bakes. Is that the whole entire time, or is that just one day? Yeah, okay. that's the entire time, I believe. Oh, cool. So if you're looking, see, if you don't want to go out to dinner, you just get yeah. some of those. And then again, exactly. you just call either Amy or you email. Yes, Tillamook2000. So their email address, I assume that's a class email. Yes. Yeah. Tillamook2018 at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. And then for Valentine's, you guys are doing balloon and candy malograms for $5. Uh, do those get delivered? Do you know? Yeah, they get delivered. Yeah, okay. to the schools. Okay, cool. And then, um, oh, you guys are selling Scentsy. You're doing a Scentsy mm-hmm. fundraiser. There's seven, wow, you guys have a lot. Seven layer dip. Is that, again, any time? Like, yep, yeah. just call okay. and order it. Ooh, and Krispy Kremes. Mm-hmm. That's always fun. <laughs> $12 for a dozen. And then hire a junior, which, again, somebody's getting a call. Maybe I'll call one. <laughs> one I'll get four kids out from each class. Um, and then pop cans and scrap metal. So yes. collect, don't... Don't take your pop cans in. Give them to a high schooler, and they'll use them for their class sales or their class drive. Um, 
Is there anything else? Did we cover um, everything, or was, did we want to Sunday the 19th, we have a volleyball or basketball camp, and that's at the high school mm, from mm-hmm. 1 to 3 p.m. Yep, $20 a person, kindergarten through sixth grade. Yep. Yeah. Right, so you're running two different ones, right? There's Yeah, yeah, yeah you can separate. choose volleyball or basketball because yeah. they're running yeah. at the same time. And we have two gyms, too, so there's going to be right. volleyball in one gym and Perfect. basketball in the other gym. Uh, and then, of course, car washes. Just, yep. Yeah. Um, you just have to drive around town and keep your eyes open because they're everywhere. Yes. And it's going to be volleyball and basketball people that are going to be coaching that too. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. People that know what they're doing. Yeah. Cool. Are we good? Yep. Yeah, okay. Good. I'm going to bring the seniors in. All right. Thank you. Okay. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to talk about the Pioneer Museum. Have you learned about the treasure allegedly buried on Neokani Mountain? Have you heard the story of the first pilgrim who built his house inside a tree stump? What about the town built along Bay Ocean Spit that fell into the ocean? You'll learn about these stories and many more during a trip to the Tillamook County Pioneer Museum. Tillamook County's history is rich and diverse, spanning miles of coastline and rugged mountains, and while time and development has reshaped some of our identity, much of it still lives on among the museum's artifacts and the enthusiasm of the staff and volunteers for telling a good story. Open Tuesday through Sunday from 10 to 4, you'll want to visit the museum regularly. A few times each year, the display in the main exhibit room is changed, making a trip to the Tillamook County Pioneer Museum insightful entertaining, and entertaining no matter how many times you've been there. So, I'm now joined... By the seniors. It's your last year. And hoping to be undefeated, right? Hoping. Oh, hoping. hoping. You're going to have to hoping. talk into the microphone a little bit more. Uh, tell me your name. Well, I'm Garrett Martindale. Hello. And I'm Riley Upton. Hello. Uh, yes. So it's funny because Bruce Rhodes, um, who is, you know, you know who Bruce Rhodes is? Okay. Yeah. He was in here yesterday and he said... Or not yesterday, last week. And he said, yeah, the seniors are undefeated. And I feel, he said, I feel like all the other classes, they don't care who wins as long as the seniors don't win. So, P.S., you got yeah, some Yeah, we got big a target. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> yep. Yep. You guys have a big target on your back. Okay, so let's start with food. Um, well, we have three main dinners. Our biggest dinner is coming up on this Sunday, the 12th. It's our steak dinner. Mm. It's 4 to 8 at the Nazarene, and it's $15 for single, $25 for couples, and $10 for children. Nice. And along with all of our dinners, just to mention this, we have auctions. Um, We only have a couple ongoing items. They're Mm -hmm. our biggest ones. Uh, We have switching auction items every dinner. So I think we have over 200 right now. Wow. Our second dinner is on Friday the 17th. It's the Applewood Smoked Pork. Ooh, that um, sounds amazing. Yeah. It's 4 to 7 p.m. at the First Christian Church, and it is same prices as the steak. Mm-hmm. Our last dinner is on the 20th, the Monday. It's um, at 4, and it goes to 7 at THS, and it's our Mexican dinner, and it's authentic, homemade. Delicious. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, let's see. And then we have a couple other food kind of related things. events yeah mm-hmm. so we have a couple takeovers um the fish peddler in bay city allows us to do a takeover and that's on sunday the 19th from 11 to 2 and so basically you guys aren't making the food but you're serving no, and cleaning yeah. and doing the we register do, and stuff like that we do a lot of so we'll have we'll pair we pair up with one of the actual servers and we do all of the wait staff Mm-hmm. things and then we get usually they give us 50 to 100 percent of whatever we make nice and they keep all the tips um and it's great the fish pillar is great about that um yeah. we have our trivia luncheon which it's an event but it's also kind of a takeover and that's at the fern it's on the same day sunday the 19th it's 1 30 to 3 30 and you can build up teams and it's kind of like we take questions and play kind of a trivia game mm-hmm. while everyone yeah. eats and stuff that's fun yeah um get smart and get full yeah. <laughs> and then uh, on the 15th, we have a Yo Time takeover, mm-hmm. which is at 4, what, 4 to 10? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that's it for really food. We don't food have... Food things. We don't well, have hold on. Let's see. You're doing salad in a jar. Yeah. And candy grams. Yep. And candy grams are like little valentines. You can order them mm-hmm. and... They're pretty, they're like $1 to $2 each, and you get candy and a little note, and you can send it to whoever, and we deliver um, mm-hmm. schools, businesses, wherever you guys want. Fun. Um, you can contact Megan. The email is on all of our Facebook stuff. It's candygrams2017 at gmail.com. Yep. Yeah, and then for salad in a jar, it's pretty much nice mason It's like a little, yeah. like, I've seen those, um, mm-hmm. like the recipe, you know, yeah, you like build them a up. mason jar, yeah, and yeah. then it's 
a salad, and then you just shake it all up and you eat it out yeah. of the jar. And those are five dollars each, and we do the same thing. We can deliver and stuff. Um, and that's Haley Hine at five zero three eight one two five zero seven six. Cool. Yeah. We're not done yet, Maria. <laughs> Okay. Uh, and then what is car bashing on car bashing. Friday, tomorrow? So at each of our games, we have scrap metal, you know. And uh-huh. so we usually get cars and stuff. And so we will have cars with motors taken out and everything. And they will have their windows and all of that in them. I assume and this is out. Is it outside? Yeah. Okay. And you can just pay pretty much to take a baseball bat or a sledgehammer to the car. I mean, get a little anger out. Fun. Uh, comedy, there's a comedy show. Oh, and that's dessert. It's got dessert mm-hmm. on it. Comedy show and dessert auction ne- on Saturday. Yeah. At the um, auditorium. That's fun. Who, who's doing the comedy? So there's a local group in, out of Portland. It's called the Long Con. Uh-huh. Um, they're like an um, impromptu group. Improv. Yeah. yeah. And so it's Dakota Cloud. He was a student mm-hmm. at THS. Yeah, I know him. He is a part of that group and he volunteered to come down with them. Do you want him to come? Uh, cool. Yeah. And there's a Fear Factor eating challenge at the same time? Um, yes. So what that is is you can pay like an extra two bucks and pretty much enter that and we will have different things that you can try to eat. Try and cool. have fun with that. I'm going to rush you through this because we You're I good. have to take off the air real quick. Uh, Jedi for a day is also Saturday mm-hmm. at East School. One to three. I know a lot of kids. You guys, Did you guys do that last year or did somebody else? Yeah, we yeah. had that last year. A lot year. of kids like that. Um... There's a rummage sale. You guys are doing performing arts camp at East School mm-hmm. on mo- next Monday. Yes. Um, bring little kids. It's art. It's dance. It's um, acting, singing, whatever they want, mm-hmm. and it'll be really fun. Cool. Um, and you guys are also doing babysitting at East School on Valentine's Day, which is nice. So the parents can drop off their kids and then mm-hmm. go have support the seniors and then go support the juniors and have a Hawaiian dinner. Yes, and it's six to nine, and it's $3 per kid per hour and $4 per two kids, or they're like two and under Mm -hmm. or whatever. So we do everything, diapers and all that. Um, We will have movies, um, art, games, everything to keep them busy while parents are out having a nice Nice. dinner. Uh, Speaking of kids, you're also doing baby races next Friday, which is a no-school day. Yeah. Um, but that's at six o'clock at THS. I saw pictures from last year. That was super was cute. Super cute. Yeah. The babies like crawl race down. Um, and then next Saturday, the 18th, you're doing quarantine, which I think you guys did last year too, right? Mm-hmm. Um, at the high yeah. school where it's kind of like a zombie type takeover thingamajig. Right? Yeah. So the kids come in and they have little cards that they have to find around and the zombies, if they tag them, can take one of their cards. It's kind of just a fun game of tag. It adds a little twist to it. Yeah. Yeah, and then like we said, there's candy grams, uh, hire a senior, you're doing family portraits, that's nice, Mm -hmm. like if you need to update your family pictures, Um, scrap metal, all kinds of fun stuff. Again, the shopper has the schedule. I'm going to kick you out and bring the chairs in really quick because i got to get off the air. Uh, Hurry up, we got to be quick. (laughs) Run, run, run. Hello, welcome. Junior chairs, Maya, do you want to come sit down too? Yeah. Um, or just stick your head right there if you want. Oh, Riley's here. I thought you weren't going to be here. I just got here. <laughs> oh, she snuck in. All right, so uh, what do we want to talk about real quick? Um, let's just remind everyone about, like, the meaning of Charity Drive and yes. where the money goes to. So it's, like, a friend, fun, friendly class competition. It's 10 days of just all sorts of activities. So 50% of the money we earn goes to Dornbecker, 30% goes to local charities that stays in the community, and then 20% goes to scholarships. So, yes, awesome. And uh, when you say the community, I think that's in the form of grants and things yes, like that, yes, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, charity drive grants. At the end, we decide where all the money will go. So people send in their applications, and then we sit down and go through all of them. And they end up going to places like churches and other places that were involved in charity drive mm-hmm. and just good things around our community. Cool. And then we've got some all-school events. So Mr. THS is on Monday the 13th at 7 p.m., Donkey basketball is Friday the 17th at uh, 7 p.m. Sud Muffin Volleyball will be on Sunday the 19th uh, at 7 p.m. as well. Um, Walkathon is on Monday the 20th at 1 p.m. 
powder puff football is new this year um and that's where girls are playing uh mm-hmm. f- football and then there's boy coaches out on the field mm-hmm. yes. mm-hmm. that's yeah. gonna be muddy yes it should be interesting <laughs> and that's on monday the 20th as well um at 5 p.m and then boys basketball games are friday the 10th and thursday the 16th Cool. And there'll be concessions for uh, all the Do you want to say your names real quick? Cause we oh, sorry. I'm Go Sydney ahead. Bennett. I'm Calista Palladini. And you're the junior co-chairs. overalls or yeah. chairs. Yeah, co-chairs. Yeah. And then we have? I'm Riley Zerngas. And I'm Miley. Fabulous. Who are the senior co-chairs yes. or senior chairs, however you say that. Um, cool. And Rochelle, you don't want to talk, do you? Okay. Are you good? Um, or did you want to say, thing, make just, sure you're talking in the microphone. We just wanted to thank um, Kathleen Bauer and Marcine Yank. They donated a quilt to all classes this year. Nice. And that will be getting raffled off. So each class will be selling raffle tickets. Sweet. And it's a really gorgeous quilt. So we're really looking forward to that. Nice. That'll be pretty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Cool. Thank you. All right. You're thank welcome. You so much. Thank Real you. quick. So I'm going to try to go through this. No, you can go. Uh, tomorrow we'll have your wellness on. Don't forget senior meals noon every weekday at the Cuyahoga Community Center in Pacific City as well as Tillamook Senior Center at 4th and Stillwell. Cost is $3 for seniors and six seventy five for everyone else. Today at 5, weigh in on wayfinding at the chamber. It's a small presentation on the upcoming wayfinding sign project. See the draft design and weigh in on the look and location of the signage downtown. As we've talked about all day today, tomorrow the charity drive starts and will run through Monday the 20th. Uh, tomorrow, no, Saturday, Kids Valentine's Craft Event at, yeah, at two, from 2 to 4 at the Air Museum's Cafe. Cost is a dollar per child. Also Saturday from 12 to 3, the Chamber is hosting a cash mob at Teen Challenge. Uh, the teen cha- the local teen challenge store has been informed by their corporate office that without a financial turnover, they won't be able to keep the doors open. It would be a huge loss for those in the community who are in need of affordable clothes, furniture, household items, and more. Not to mention the employees who rely on teen challenge for a source of income. Again, that's Saturday from 12 to three on Sunday. Adventist health is sponsoring art for the heart, uh, art show reception, which will be held at the NCRD from one to three in the Halem. Next Monday, Monday Musical is having their February concert, Broadway Favorites, from 7 to 8.30 at First Christian Church on 4th Street. The concert is free and open to the public. And calling all smile makers, uh, Joshua, how do you say his last name? Is it Apricio? Apricio? Anyway, if you look up on Facebook, Joshua's Journey or Cards for Kids, it's a local student who is battling leukemia right now. He is currently in the bone marrow transplant phase of his treatment and will be in the hospital for a while. So they're looking for Valentine's cards or any get well thinking, uh, get well cards for him. They want to fill up his hospital room with smiles from around the world to show him that everyone cares and they are thinking of him. You can mail your his your cards. Um, it's a long address that I'm not going to say, but it's Dornbecker Children's Hospital, room four, ten uh, S room four. But look up cards for kids on Facebook or Joshua's Journey on Facebook, and it's on there. Okay, that was a long day. Thanks for listening, Tilmuk. <laughs>